Hello and welcome to my channel. This is just a walkthrough about a uh, couple of things. How to create MBM uh, a new solver simulation from an RBD simulation and mainly how we can separate the outside from the inside uh, pieces. The file uh, of the Houdini is available on my Patreon where you are encouraged to join and participate. And now we'll go and see the help file scene we'll go through it so this is uh, the help file scene divided between the rigid body and the MBM I just uh, for demonstration created a box and in this box I created an ISO offset so I can scatter points that mainly will be also inside so I scatter a couple of points and uh, after that, I added a Voronoi fracture, and from the Voronoi fracture, I give it a color. In the Voronoi fracture, we have uh, two group, interior and exterior, inside and outside. So I give the color to the outside and I give it a red color, as you can see here. And this goes to the constraint, blue constraint which I added in RBD constraint property. So it's a glue. We need to add it, it just initiate the lines. You don't have the constraint name or type attribute. After the RBD constraint, you will have it. Constraint name and the type. Then I transform it a little bit up and added a regular RBD solver, nothing fancy there, all the same set up only we have a ground so this is the simulation so as you can see because of the color we added to the outside we have color only for the outside as a points if we add it to the primitive let's see so now it's for the primitive but I will keep it for the points okay so as you can see here we have an average between the points the color so it's between all way white or the all way red so we have some averaging there so an exploded view so we can work on the area uh, of interest that the outside we want to keep it red and isolated from the inside which is white because here you can see it's mixing so we wanted to decide either this or this. So added connectivity sub. So we have attribute class. And added a for each bear the class attribute. So we are taking one piece, like this particular piece where we have two color, white and red. So I added attribute prom promote from the point to the detail CD. And I took the minimum. If I took the maximum, everything will be white. So with the minimum, because it's one zero zero, so it will take this one instead of one one one. Then I promote it again from detail to bond, so we have whole, as an average the whole piece as red or white. So this is the result. So as you can see, it inherit every face that's outside with red color to the whole piece. So in this way we can separate both of the groups. Here I added an attribute triangle just uh, to create two groups. So we'll have uh, one group that is uh, concrete and one group that's not concrete, everything else. Okay, so according to the color. So I did the split according to the group so I have the concrete group and I have the inside. So this is outside, this is inside. And now if we go to the MBM sourcing here, I added a, a source. And in this source, uh, we make it as a concrete, chunky and high density 2400. And the stiffness is I lower it to 0.7, so it doesn't stay 
uh, rigid. And the concrete, honestly, is the slowest one. Concrete and metal, very slow. Then we have a collider, and the collider is just a VDV for the outside. And here you can change the voxel size to make it more accurate and add some stickiness to it also and better to cache it also we need the MBM container which will define the resolution and the container the domain and if you want to delete it or not and this one should be referenced in the collider and the source then we added an MBM solver Here you can change the how many sub steps and the uh, material condition and CSFL and this will uh, control the accuracy of the solver. Also you can add here your Bob regular node and the uh, wrangles also. Then we cache it. And after caching I just created a VDB from particle then reshaping it, smoothing it and convert it back to rigid body here also we added a detail but in the one second but in the detail it is uh, referencing the word so when this move it will move also so we should have a rest or we add the detail before the rbd sim itself so just one note for the rbd detail with some noise and some detail size so we have a uh, better interior because we are applying it only for the inside. And this is how it look. And then we added a couple of uh, materials and a back drop. And some lighting and we render this one out.